Hello everyone, this is Diego. I am the LS Laboratory Manager and today I'm gonna show you through this video how to use ImageJ to do some color measurements, okay? So uh, we have two main tasks today. The first one is I want to, I have this picture of this banana and I want to measure the area of black dots on it. That's the first thing that we're going to do. The second thing is I have this additional picture of slices of banana and I want to measure uh, differences of color on those, okay? So that's our second task. Let's try it. So uh, here I have the image J is already downloaded and uh, opened for our computer. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I have additional videos that I'm going to link here uh, explaining how to do that. Um, what we are going to do here, up in here in the file menu, I'm going to load our file. We are going to start with the whole uh, banana picture and I'm going to try to measure the area of the black dots. So when you load, you're going to see the file like this. And now what you can do is, uh, what you have to do is first, we have to transform this into a black and white picture. So I'm going to go here to image, type, 8-bit, and the picture is going to become black and white. After that, um, I need to set the thresholds that we're measuring. Uh, so basically, uh, we are looking for differences of contrast. So what we're going to do is image adjust auto threshold. And then we are going to have uh, several um, options there. Uh, I'm just going to leave this as custom options. And here we, we can select the method. This is important for the replication of your experiment. Uh, now, since we are just trying what we're going to do, I'm not sure which method is going to be the best, so I'm just going to try then all. Oh, sorry. And uh, let me do that again because I changed the auto threshold. There we go. So try the null, white objects are on black, black background. Okay. And then you're going to get this output. So here we have all of the options. So I can, by looking these images, look which one is more uh, likely to help me out. So I believe this one is going to be a good option. I can use this image as well, but I'm gonna uh, show you how to do this one. So this one is the 61 in the order. So if we go again to the same menu, image, adjust auto threshold we can just search for the sixth one which is the max entropy press ok and there we go so then we have an image completely in black and white and uh, we can basically uh, select and uh, measure the area of black dots that we have how to do that? So you can use these tools over here to select the area that you want to measure I'm going to use the polygon selection and uh, I'm going to choose the area that I want to measure by just clicking and dragging. So I'm going to try to cover as much as possible the area that I want to measure by dragging and clicking on it and just circumscribing the banana area. There we go, done. So now we have a selection of the area that we want to measure. What we are going to do is we are coming to analyze and uh, we are going to analyze particles. By doing so, you're going to have this screen here. Um, I want the summarized results and I want to display the results. So check if those are really uh, selected. And here we can select what is going to be shown. We can just leave it as uh, nothing, that's totally fine. When you press OK, you're going to get a summary like this, OK? So now here um, I have two screens. One is the results. This is the results for each one of the pixels in the uh, image, uh, each one of the areas of the image that are being uh, measured. And here we have a summary of ev everything. So we have the total area. This is in pixels. Um, 
and here is the percentage of area within our selection that uh, contains either black or white dots. So now we have to check uh, if this is corresponded. So 66%, is it corresponding to white or black dots? Um, so what you can do is you can just create another selection, select a completely white or a completely black area, like here, and do it again. Analyze, analyze particles, and uh, okay. And then you're going to see we got 100%, which means that this 66.5 is representative of the white area in the banana. So the, our black area in the banana would be the opposite, okay? So we have 34, 33.5% uh, uh, of the area covered in black dots. This is about uh, the coverage, okay? It's very similar to the bacteria experiment that we have in an additional video here. Now, um, I want to measure in the second image. So again, I'm gonna open load an image. And uh, I'm opening the image of the slices of banana. There we go. Um, so it looks like this, and uh, I want now to measure somehow differences of color within these slices. So what we can do is we can again get a selection tool. Let's use this round, the oval selection tool, and uh, select an area that I want to measure. Let's say that I want to measure this area here. Uh, and then what you can do is we go to the analyze screen histogram. By so, doing so, <clears throat> you're going to get an is, is, uh, histogram uh, showing a scale from 0 to 255 and uh, the number of pixels that you have within which one of these uh, scales. So basically, as close to 0 that you have the data, the darker it is, and as close to 255 that you have, the lighter it is. Um, this is a distribution of the pixels within this area that we are measuring. You can see that we have here a mean value, a standard deviation value, and a mode value. The mode value is the most common, the peak of your measurement. You can use either one of this uh, for comparisons between groups. Uh, so, for example, if I click here on live, the graph is going to change as I change the selection. And uh, so if I change the selection to this one, you can see that the graph becomes very different. If I change to this one as well, and so on. Okay. Um, what is important here? The area of the circle that we are creating needs to be always the same, so you can keep comparisons between uh, the banana slices. Also, here we are comparing uh, darkness, so how intense is the contrast. You can also, if you press here in the RGB, you can compare uh, the proportion of red, green, and blue pixels in this picture as well. So it's really up to what you're measuring. In this case, I just want to see the browning. So probably the intensity of the color is the more important variable that I can use here. But as you can see, it's very simple for you to measure it. And it works also for pictures of liquid materials. Things that you need to be careful about. So uh, we are working with um, measurements and you're looking forward to replications. So you need to keep the any variables that are not important, that are not your independent variable, they need to be kept constant. So the size of the selection, the format of the selection, also the size and format of your sample. So here you see that we have small differences on how the slices were created. They are not perfect. With that, we are going to have differences of uh, reflection of light and so on. So you need to be careful about that and try to keep things as smooth and similar as possible. That's the same for the banana hole, the peel of the banana experiment. So if we're looking for this, it's really going to be dependent on the angle of the banana or how the light is being uh, put over the, the sample, over the banana. So you need to be careful about those stuff. 
Anyways, that's the idea. If you have any questions, ask your Alice teacher or send me an e email or come to the lab at any time. Okay, thank you guys.